I'm Sian once again, and today I thought of talking about one of these issues that I encountered when cloning a virtual uh, machine in VMware Workstation. And uh, the first thing uh, I need to tell you is this is a virt working virtual machine. It's at Ubuntu 10.4 version, and if I go, or the problem that I had was uh, was that this Ethernet adapter at zero disappeared once the clone was made. So what I'm going to talk about is how you can get it back. As you see, at zero is having an IP address that is 192.168.0.151. And once you clone, at zero disappears, and you will have no network connection. Only this loopback address will be remaining. So how you can resolve that issue is what we're going to talk about. But before, I'll, had, I'll tell you a little bit about virtual machines if you are in case new to uh, VMware. Uh, virtual machines are kind of an interesting concept that you can make or simulate real hardware and make a operating system think it's running in real hardware. For example, this Ubuntu version will be thinking that it's running on a real machine that has uh, 312 megs of RAM and a single CPU. So what it thinks is it has everything uh, real but actually it's not. It's running on top of a Windows 7 machine inside VMware Workstation. So over here what I have is a whole lot of virtual machines from mail servers to LDAPs and NFS file system and all of them well were very easy to create. All I had to do is uh, install one virtual machine and I named it Ubuntu and I made multiple clones and in and named them uh, with like mail server 1, mail server 2 and likewise. So the time to install or get a working Linux box was just a one-time investment uh, that took to install Ubuntu. And all this relatively took few seconds to clone. And that's the advantage of having a virtual machine. Once you have a working virtual machine, you can clone it and have an exact copy of it uh, that is working in no time. So that's the problem I had. I made one of these clones, but it didn't have an Ethernet adapter or it's zero. And this is how you can well, clone a virtual machine and have it get it working in no time. So the first thing we have to do is we have to shut down this virtual machine. I'm going to say sudo shut down now. And I'm going to give my password. And in a few seconds it will shut down. Let's be patient till then. Yep. Okay, once you get to the screen, oh, well it will be different uh, depending on the OS. Uh, what you're going to have to do is to click this red button that will turn off or power off the virtual machine. Okay, so now the virtual machine is powered off. You can see it in the state. It says it's powered off. So what you're going to do is uh, you're going to right, right click on this virtual machine, the name of it. It's Ubuntu. I have a lot of them over here. You're going to right click and go to clone. Uh, which should bring you to a wizard. Click next, and this is clone from where we are going to clone the current state of the virtual machine. Okay, this Ubuntu version is an up to date uh, version of Ubuntu 10.04, and that is the base that I'm going to use to make multiple uh, virtual machines that have different software installed in them. So, I'm going to uh, get a clone of the current state of the virtual machine. So it will look like a fresh installation of Linux that is being updated. And next, you'll come across this clone method. Uh, clone method is like how you had to make the clone. Now over here you have link clone and full clone. There are two options. And the link clone is very space efficient in the sense, uh, even if uh, your parent is like 10 gigs in size, uh, this link clone, the new result of it, will be only few megs in size at first. And if you create a full clone, as you might assume, 
it will be equal in size so if you're having a 10 gig parent your child will also be 10 gigs in size so there are advantages in having a link clone and there's advantages in having a full clone the advantage about a uh, full clone is that you can delete the parent but in link clones you cannot delete the parent because most of your files are in the parent uh, well what do you call it virtual machine so if you delete the parent virtual machine you no longer will be able to run uh, the child so since it's very space efficient and because I'm running out of storage I'm going to say create a link clone um, otherwise you can use a full clone but I think it's best to stick with link clones because they are very space efficient and quick to create so next what we are going to have to give is a name for the virtual machine I'm going to say the media wiki test because I already have a virtual name uh, media wiki and I'm going to say finish okay as you see in just few seconds a virtual machine is created and you're done so what you next have to do is you need to power on this virtual machine and once it's powered on you will have that issue of it not having an edge zero in it my computer is rather slow so please be patient alright things are powering up I'm going to give my username and password and we are in alright it's very slow today yep there we go so what I'm going to say do is I'm going to check my uh, adapters by using if config and as you see this only has the look back not at zero so what happened to at zero and how you can get it back is what we're going to talk okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open uh, CD etc udev and yeah okay so what I had to do is I had to go uh, open cd etc udev and rules.d and over here we have well few files 70 persistent cd rules 70 persistent net rules and readme and the problem maker for it turns out to be the 70 persistent net rules so what you're going to do is we are going to remove it and see what happens so I'm going to say uh, sudo rm 70 persistent net rules and I'm going to give my password once again and there we go so once we're done I'm going to say uh, reboot and see what we have achieved or if to see if the problem is resolved so once again you have to bear up with my slow computer and you know uh, this seems to be a common issue because as uh, I found a lot of uh, help from forums and well I don't know why it happens but it kind of happens always to me And once we are in, we can say if config, and there we go. We got a we got our lost Ethernet or eight zero once again. There. So what we did was we removed uh, using sudo rm. We can use it uh, in the anywhere else like uh, sudo rm uh, etc udev rules.d and 70 persistent net rules so once we removed it and rebooted the lost edge zero turned out or showed up so um, I believe you you can manage to change this uh, inet address um, well in case you don't I'll, I'll be making one of these video tutorials or you can find plenty of information in the net about this and I hope I have been helpful today 
and see you again in my next tutorial that is about installing MediaWiki in Ubuntu 10.4. Thank you for viewing. I'm Zian Chenadin. I hope you have a wonderful day.